Let's now create the slide of our gun. I'm going to head up to sketch and select rectangle and select two point rectangle. Now we are prompted to select a plane or planar face. We're going to select our YZ plane. This one, I can left click this one or this one. Left click here. And now we are prompted to drop our first corner. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to drop our first point here and second point here. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to hit D to grab our dimension. Or better yet, go to sketch, go down and select sketch dimension. And now I'm going to select this vertical line and this vertical line heading up. Left click here to drop our dimension and key in 180. Hitting enter. Next, selecting this horizontal line and this horizontal line. Moving here and dropping our dimension. And I'm going to key in 18. Hitting enter. Next, we're going to select this horizontal line and our origin. Left click and drop our dimension here. I'm going to key in 36. Hitting enter. I'm going to hit escape and try to move my entities. So notice it moved horizontally. I'm going to hit undo twice. Next, I'm going to hit D to grab our dimension. Select this vertical line and our origin. Left click. I'm going to move up, drop our dimension here and key in 85. Hitting enter. I'm going to hit escape and once more, selecting this points, left click and holding it to move. So now it doesn't move, meaning it's fully constrained. So take note, our goal in sketching is to always make it fully constrained. Now if you want to revise a specific dimension, we can always hover to a specific dimension, double left click. So for this one, I'd like to change this to 19. So giving it an additional height. And now let's head up to create and grab our extrude tool. I'm going to go to home view. And now we are prompted to select a profile, selecting our newly created rectangle. I'm going to grab our arrow, holding my left mouse button. And I'm going to go to direction and select symmetric. Now the distance, the width here is 30. So here I'm going to key in 15. Operation, you buddy. And finally hit OK. Now I'm going to hide our canvas to inspect and turn off the visibility of our origin. I'm going to double click my middle mouse to zoom extents and go to inspect and select measure and select this edge so confirm our width is 30 hitting close